last March, I decided that we're going to convert a car, this 2002 Neon, to a full electric. So I started doing a lot of research and investigating what we need to do. And uh, I started gathering all the parts that I thought we were going to need to, to accomplish this task. When August came around and the juniors became seniors, I gave this project to them. And 150 hours later, we, we, completed, the, we completed it. This is the exhaust, the gas tank, the uh, computer for the car, the radiator. the radiator, the spare tire, and the air box. And then over here we have the engine that we took out of the car. Well, basically it took a lot of planning, and the planning all at the end, when we finally got it done, it was like a big relief. And if you're working on something for really long and then you finally get done with it, it's like, finally it's done. And like, sitting there, you can go out and drive it if you want, and it's just, yeah, everything's all finally done. I thought it would be done by the end of the year, but not any time around now. I thought it was going to take a lot longer. Uh, the most important thing I learned would probably be the developing, or like designing the battery boxes, stuff like that, because I really had to put my mind to it and think really hard to make sure all the measurements were correct, because they had to be within close tolerances. Uh, I always look forward to the days I had auto and get to work on the electric car. <laughs> All you gotta do is, is just push the pedal down. You don't need a clutch to shift the gears because it's not a piston engine. You know, you take your foot off the gas, electric motor turns, and you can shift. The amount of learning, you know, that, that took place here, as far as uh, you know craftsmanship and higher order thinking skills and problem solving and critical thinking it was just amazing the amount of learning opportunities that came out of this